Hello everyone, so what we're going to do today is replace the BMW's um, rectifier and diode board uh, with a modern, um, more reliable version. So just to give you a heads up, I've already removed the negative from the battery, taken the tank off, the timing chest covers off and the petrol tank's off. So um, if we start there as a base level, um, uh, we can continue on. Okay, so remove the connector block here and take the voltage regulator off. There's an 8mm. Okay, the next job is to disconnect the diode board from the stator, so take off DF, D minus, and Y. Why doesn't it want to come off? Why not? There we go. And the three phase outputs, which are here. Okay, with all the wires clear from the stator, you can take off the diode board. Um, it's taken off by uh, undoing these four bolts here. Uh, two on this side, two on the other side. Um, it's an 8mm. Okay, so there's a uh, diode board being removed. These are the three phase wires from the stator. This is the wire that returns back into the voltage regulator to knock out the generator light. And this wire moves it back here. The black wire goes back to the alternator. It uh, goes back to the this wire black here, uh, this wire back here, the black wire. Where is it? There we go. Look. That then goes back to uh, the starter motor, which feeds back to the battery. So that's the wire that that um, uh, recharges the battery. Make sure when you take this off that you. Um, Take off the uh, starter motor chest cover and take off the wire at the starter motor because you don't want a lot of positive energy flailing about and arcing across to the negative frame. Cool, so that's our diode board out. Okay, next of all, you need to prepare the area by chopping out the, the dead, all the dead wiring. But you've got to be careful because we've got the wire that's wire coming from the condenser that goes to the coil so make sure we don't chop that but uh, chop out all of this associated um, old diode board uh, regulator wiring okay right with that done which took considerably longer than I thought um, we're going to remove the starter chest cover and uh, sort out this wire here which is the output wire back to the starter motor which eventually leads back to the battery so, in order to do that, we need to take off these two. One here, one on the other side. Cover off. Choke cable in the way. Right then, this way here that connected the output section of the diet board is uh, connected to the solenoid on the starter motor here. So what we need to do is just unbolt that, take out this wire, and we will be safe. After that, uh, we need to connect the new wiring loom up. Um, we have uh, a wiring loom supplied with the kit. It's got um, one, two, three, four, five wires. And uh, the three ones are through for the AC output, um, and the two input wires and one orange trigger wire. So first of all, we connect the yellow wires to the uh, three-phase AC output. Like so. Push it all from push down. We've got the brown wire, that then goes on the DF. I'll have to tighten this up a bit further, I think. And we have a D minus black wire. Okay, right, so with. Oh, that's hot. Just put my hand on the header. Don't do that, by the way. Um, Okay, so with all this uh, in place now, we've got the, the three phase outputs going into the rectifier. We've got the uh, positive DN, uh, DF in, and the D minus out. This is the um, like wake me up switch wire. Um, 
that has to be connected to the uh, ignition switch in the dash okay which is here you can see uh, it's the green wire on the top after you've tidied up all your wiring and made it nice and neat making sure nothing's trapped including your um, point strip wire which always gets in the way put the time and chest cover back on with the three iron key bolts. And move on to the next job. Right, so I've uh, routed the cable out the top of the timing chest. I've just put the cover back on. This is our uh, regulator rectifier cable. Kind of routed it all the way back down. I'm going to uh, place it in the tool tray and uh, cut a hole and put it in all that sort of stuff. This is our switch wire that we're going to run all the way up through the frame and into the uh, headlight. That uh, when you turn the key in will go positive and allow the uh, unit to wake up and charge the battery. This is our regulator rectifier unit. Um, it's quite big to be honest. Uh, this is the connector block that will connect onto the block that we've just run up from the timer chest unit. Um, these are the wires that will go onto the battery, red obviously for positive and green for ground. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to put it into the tool tray, it sits under the seat, like so. I'm not going to chop in the wires off at this stage because I'm not really happy where I placed it so I'm just going to suck it and see and, and, uh, and, and find out how it goes really. There's two bolt holes there, I may drill through the um, tool, tool tray and bolt it in but like I say, just suck it and see it at this stage because it's quite big. Right, so what we'll then do now is just uh, install it onto the battery. Get it onto ground. Because we're working on it, we'll uh, not put the ground strap on. This is the earth strap from the uh, rear number plates and lighting and brakes and everything and, it, and indicators and everything else. Okay. That will be ready to uh, be bolted up when we're finished doing all the electrics on the bike. Okay, that is. Okay. And we'll just do the same on the positive side. Okay, so this is the finished job. We're going to put the lid on the tool tray and uh, just go up and sort the switch wire out and uh, see if it works. Okay, inside the shell is the, the positive there, switch, uh, switch positive there, and I've put a connector block on um, the switch positive on a blue, that blue wire. So that will give me uh, a switch positive feed because my orange wire isn't long enough to go to the shell. Okay, this is the feed from the ignition switch in the uh, headlamp shell and this is the uh, trigger wire for the regulator rectifier. Uh, because the orange one is too short, we need to join the two together. And then that will complete the job. So we just chop it, skin it, both sides. Got a inline connector block here. Inline connectors. Squash them all together. Check to make sure that they won't uh, come apart. Job's good. Put it all back together, so it's the, the headlamp, the tank on, and we'll uh, start it up and make sure we get in 14 plus volts through the battery. And with that done, we'll just give it a test to make sure it's working. And there we go, it works. A brand new integrated diode and regulator. 
Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.